we're back in the studio and we're going to be talking first with Joanna Long who is a physical therapist and right now she's over at Garden Ridge but we're going to talk to her about what's going on. Hi, <laughs> how are you? Um, what I, uh, I wanted to talk about physical therapy. Um, October is National Physical Therapy Month and okay. so I wanted to talk uh, about what exactly we do in physical therapy. Wonderful. Um, you know, I think a lot of people know the basics but maybe don't know to the extent of everything that you know we can How help. How much therapy can help. Right. Exactly and the kinds of things that we can help with. Right. Um, a lot of what we do in physical therapy we uh, work a lot on strengthening uh, lower extremity strengthening. Um, we'll work a lot on balance, um, especially in this population. There's a lot of people that you know have so, issues with their yeah, balance. So, do you work with these people who teach the balance classes? Do you kind of coordinate that at all? Um, we don't. Um, I think that that's. I'm not really sure who runs that. I think it's, it's, it's through the fitness center. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, currently we are not involved mm -hmm. in that as far as I know. Um, but in in physical therapy, you know, we, we work a lot with also the occupational therapists. Okay, um, now what's the difference? Um, physical therapy, we work on, as I mentioned, the lower extremity or the leg strengthening. Okay. Um, focus a lot on walking, um, being able to do stairs. Uh, especially if you um, if you've had a total knee replacement total hip replacement you know knowing the right way to and safe way to go up and down stairs um, also work like I mentioned the balance mm -hmm. um, being able to get in and out of bed safely uh, actually there was a situation this morning that um, I actually wanted to mention um, the occupational therapist was working with a lady getting in and out of the bed and her bed was very high. Oh. I mean it was so high it was she could stand and almost sit on the edge. Oh and so you know that's definitely something that is not safe. You know, I've, we've had people that have um, had issues falling out of bed because their bed's too high, um, trouble getting into the bed because it's so high that they can't get their legs into the bed. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, situations like that, you know, we recommend different um, assistive devices like maybe a bed rail uh -huh. to help get in and out of bed or lowering the bed. Um, so that's a lot of what we do in physical therapy. Um, also teaching people how to get in and out of a car um, is something that we do. Um, occupational therapy works with um, they do a little bit more with the arms, okay, with, with strength. Yes, more. with um, I mean PT can also, mm -hmm. uh, but occupational therapy has a little bit more. Um, I don't want to say specialty, but they focus a little bit more on the arms and people with wrist issues or hand issues. Um, they also work, one of their biggest things is they work with uh, what are called ADLs, Activities of Daily Living. Okay. And that's basically your bathing and your grooming and those types of tasks. Um, if we get people over in Garden Ridge who, uh, let's, if they're still cooking, still cleaning, doing those types of activities, we have a mock kitchen oh, over really? in Garden Ridge. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. You know, some people I know have not been over to Garden Ridge, right. um, but we do. We have a, a fully set up um, kitchen and bedroom, um, so we can simulate activities mm -hmm. that you would do in your own apartment. And so the occupational therapist would make sure that um, you could um, get things in and out of the cabinets safely, mm -hmm. in and out of the the oven, um, those types of activities. Mm -hmm. um, we don't often think of that being a problem unless we run into it, you know, unless we're hit with something that makes us where we cannot do that. Yes, I think a lot of people, um, I mean, that's why it, the, ther the therapy is so important. Mm -hmm. um, we can, you know, give 
um, guidance as far as you know um, you should probably get a little bit closer you know to the cupboard you know before you try to get something out of it if something falls on the floor you know um, oh it's not probably smart to bend over and try to pick that up you know most right. most of the people that we treat um, will have a reacher right. or a grabber right. and those are oh, they're wonderful. excellent to have they really are um, it, you know it only takes once you yeah. know to lose the lose your balance and down on the ground you there you go right. um, so safety is a big big thing that we focus on mm -hmm. in uh, rehab as a whole so um, yeah, so the, the activity of daily living, that's a, a major one that occupational therapy does. Mm -hmm. uh, physical therapy, um, like I mentioned, we work a lot with balance. Um, we can set up obstacle courses and um, different activities for people to do that really challenges their balance. Oh, uh -huh. um, and it, you know, for some people it's a little um, intimidating at first, but you know, we, if we feel like it's something that, you know, that they can't do, we're not going to have them right. try to right. do it. You keep them safe while you're doing it. Exactly. <laughs> um, you know, safety is, you know, our one, number one priority. Sure. Um, you know, we don't want, you know, I always tell the people I'm working with, you know, I'm not going to let you fall. You know, I promise, you know, sometimes certain people will look, oh, well, you're not strong enough, you know, right, to do right. this or do that. <laughs> But if it's something, you know, we feel like we can't handle, then we, that's what's so um, wonderful about having multiple staff is right. that we can ask, you know, one of our staff, oh, can you help me? You know, oh, sure. I just, can you push the wheelchair behind me while I walk with this person? Mm -hmm. Or, um, you know, that's one of the really good advantages of working with um, a large Right. Staff of uh, right. therapists. Right. I'm sure each of you kind of has your own little specialty that that you focus on, whether it's consciously or unconsciously. I would definitely say that. You know, everyone has their um, certain thing that they're more interested in than another, and um, we, um, by law, we have to all take uh, uh, continuing education courses. Um, and we have to have so many hours of those every two years to be able to renew our license. Because mm -hmm. um, we are licensed, have to be licensed in the state right. of Virginia. And um, so th that's, you know, of course the classes we take have to be relevant to sure. the, the setting that we're in. Uh, but it's a really good opportunity, you know, to get, um, you know, uh, new knowledge sure. on, you know, what the current uh, documentation and trends are in the field and new information and um, you know, just staying up to date. Okay, we're right down to the last few seconds here, but um, <laughs> what I was gonna say lost my head. Oh, when you feel you need physical therapy, you need a doctor's prescription, right? Correct. Okay. Yes, you can get a You can't just walk into the clinic and say, you know, I'm having trouble. No, yeah, unfortunately, um, no, you need, by law, you need to have a doctor's no. order for mm -hmm. physical therapy. And um, another good thing to know is that the prescriptions are only good for 30 days. Okay. So if you have a prescription, it's not good to procrastinate and say, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, because right. then you'll have to go through the trouble of getting another one. Yeah, okay. So. So we have excellent physical therapists here in Green, in Green Spring. So take advantage of them if you're having trouble with your balance or you're walking or you're uh, not quite getting things like you want them. See your doctor and get an order and get some physical therapy. Okay, let's uh, thank you so much, Joanne. You're welcome.